Uh, hi guys, <clears throat> today is Tuesday, March the 6th. <clears throat> you know, I hope y'all's day is going okay. You know, I'm doing all right myself. And, um, you know, guys, we just take it a day at a time. Don't try to look into the future because we know there's no future here. This is coming to an end any moment, guys. Jesus Christ is going to snatch us up out of here any moment. So be prepared to go at any moment. And truly the time is at hand. <clears throat> it's it's very clear where it, <clears throat> excuse me. It's very clear we're in this season, guys. I mean it's clear. And at this point, I believe we're in the last final moments. I mean we're closing in on the end of the Jubilee year. Around the was it like the sixteenth or seventeenth or so? Um so I believe we're in a critical high watch time period right now. And, um, you know, on the verge of getting ready to enter spring soon. So we're definitely in a high watch time period. And it's definitely the season. So, um, you know, just stay expectant. And just keep your eyes on Jesus Christ day in, day out. And trust in Him because He will deliver us. You know, out of this world. We're going to be taken out of here. You know, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. It's going to be very fast. And guys, I did want to um, um, let y'all know. Like something, it hit me this morning. A while back, I had a dream. Um, it was a good while back. I believe back in 2017. And um, it was like I was watching a... Um, like in the dream, I was watching a brother in Christ video. His name is Mark. And um, so I, it's like in the dream, I was watching one of his videos. Then the video ended. And when the video ended, it's like it, it went to autoplay and it started playing like another one of his videos. And so it's like I was watching that. Or yeah, it pulled up, it pulled up yeah, another video of his. And the thing is, when I looked at the date, I specifically remember in the dream, I was looking at the published date and it was... 12 21 16 so december 21st 2016 like I, I clearly saw the date in the dream and um i knew the lord was pointing to something about that date i just wasn't you know i knew he was pointing that date so when i looked it up i couldn't find anything much of much importance other than it was the date of the winter solstice december 21st um but December 21st, 2016, I mean, other than that, I didn't really see anything that seemed of much importance. And it literally, it hit me this morning. I'm like, it's like, it came back to my mind. I was like, that that December 21st, I'm like, well, you know, we're in the 12th Jewish month of Adar. Um, I should look up what is the 21st day in the um, Jewish month of Adar. And so, guys, the 21st day, so the 21st of Adar, is Thursday, March the 8th. And I was surprised. I'm like, wow, that is interesting. Because that's where I feel the Lord's been, like, pointing to that date in, in dreams recently. And I know other people are being led to that time period. The days, you know, the 8th, March 8th, and the days around it. So I was like, wow, so the 12th month Adar in the Hebrew calendar 21st day is Thursday, March the 8th. So I caught my attention guys. Um, was I felt led to look that up. You know, I'd never done this before, you know, looking on the Hebrew calendar for the, you know, 12th month and 21st day. So it's interesting. This was March the 8th. And, um, and, um, also, I did want to share some out of Psalms with y'all today. So there are um, about four Psalms I want to read. And so I'll start out with uh, Psalms chapter 62. So, Truly my soul waiteth upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bow and wall shall ye be, and as a totter and fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Selah. My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. 
He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God hath spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renders to every man according to his work. So, amen. That was Psalms chapter 62. Um, and truly, he is our, you know, our rock, our salvation, our defense. You know, he only is my rock and my salvation. He's my defense. I shall not be moved. And so we need to make sure we're standing strong in him. You know, no matter what happens, stand strong in him because he will carry us through. You know, have perfect trust in him. So here's a Psalms chapter 70. To the chief musician, um, let's see, make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer, O Lord. Make no tarrying. Amen. So that's Psalms chapter 70. Also, I wanted to read a Psalms chapter 123. So unto thee lift up, lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God, until that he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. I mean, look around us, guys. I mean, that's what we're surrounded with. The majority of people in these end days are at ease, which is very concerning and unsettling. For us who are awake, it's very um, concerning and unsettling that so many people around us are at ease and proud. There's lots of proud pride going on today where people are very very prideful and you can see it it's all over signs pride this pride that pride 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 and what do we know and the bible is very clear pride comes before destruction and the signs of pride are all around us and we know destruction is at hand just based off of that simple fact and so it's just to me people at ease and pride nowadays and that's going to be broken guys when we get taken out of here and all this starts happening, a lot of people are going to be brought low and realize, you know, they weren't in the right mindset. They weren't following the Lord. And, you know, I pray they turn to the Lord, accept Jesus Christ and repent. And so we should be praying for these people. It just, it just is very unsettling when you look around what's going on nowadays. And so um, also I want to share Psalms uh, chapter 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications, in thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man live and be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground, he hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on all on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee, as a thirsty land, Selah. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy love kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. 
and of thy mercy cut off mine enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Amen, guys. So that was Psalms chapter 143. So I just want to share those, you know, four Psalms with y'all. Um, you know, I thank y'all for listening. If y'all have any input, let me know. Um, and at this point, just keep your eyes open. We're in a high watch time period. You know, I'm going to be, you know, watching and seeing if anything happens the next few days, especially in terms of like war, any conflict things. Um, I'll be curious to see if anything happens and, um, you know, just be on look, on the lookout for the Lord's return. We're almost out of here, guys, and I uh, thank y'all for listening. I pray y'all have a good day, and I will uh, catch y'all later. Um, God bless, in the name of Jesus Christ.